pelvic and low back tests have moderate intertestor reliability when combined with a sacral thrust test. We're looking at the ASIS here, and we're trying to see what kind of rotation they're having in their pelvis. We're checking for iliosacral rotation, range of motion, restrictions. This has to do with cross-pattern gait, so we want to make sure that there is equal rotation on either side of this pelvis. So I come over, standing on the client's right, my left hand comes over under the ASIS, my right hand comes on the posterior superior iliac spine so I can get a nice rotation. Notice how I use my entire body. I just lean back and pull up that left ASIS to check how much left rotation he has there. Make note of that in your mind and then come and see if the right has as much range of motion. So here I go. Now I'm going the other way. He does not have as much rotation into right rotation there. So I would make note of that in my assessment sheet. Next, we're going to look at the PLET test, the passive lumbar hip extension test. This test for facet joint arthrosis in the low back. So just simply by lifting the legs into extension, that lifts the hips into extension, which crams the facet joints closed. If he's having localized pain in the low back, that's facet joint arthrosis, most likely. And that's something that you record as a positive PLET test in your assessment sheets.